right guys welcome back we are at wilkesburg dragway for the saturday night street fights and some of you have asked about that little green s10 right there it's been he's been doing a lot of work to it so he's pretty much uh, bringing it back out with this race right here um they have testing tunes these guys are going to probably do a little testing before the actual race starts tonight so stay with us hope you enjoy it because we have several cars pretty much in all i think just about every class we may have a car or two in so Street racing for us. Girl draws the gold Corvette over.
first round small tire. Okay, so you had to, said we had to make it quick and sweet, so we will. Go watch the last video because we're doing a little giveaway. So if you want to know what it is, you just have to see where it is and what we're giving away. So anyway, race Saturday, rained out, obviously. Got some test passes in. They got some goofballs behind me. I know that. They're making fun of us. They're probably making fun of us back here. Got your couple test passes in. Car done pretty much what you wanted. First round. It's like it made the slowest pass of the day. <laughs> yeah, he had to pedal a little bit right there. The track there. was weird. It went away really fast. Yeah, it and did. All the things, it was fine, and then it wasn't fine. But everybody was having the same problems. I mean, it was like the start line was really good for some people, and some people slap blow the tires off the start line. But, I mean, it's like transition on the track just went away yeah the track was weird it, I really don't ever fight tire shaking it was I'm surprised to have any teeth left after I heard <laughs> it was shaking after the 330 every pass it was weird so now it didn't do it at Piedmont and then it does it up here on a prep track it's, yeah and it may be where it's a little more bumpy or something true upsetting the car you uh, can see some spikes in the drive shaft that I like it was trying to spin but it's hard to really tell but the first couple passes were pretty fast. And now, it kind of brings you to a crossroads with your car. <laughs> You've been talking about it for, uh, I'll say, about a month now. Yep. You've been wanting to go faster, we're, which you have. We're in a weird spot. Yeah. Like, still fits Extreme Street and some modern rules. But morally, I know what I've run compared to... I would say 90 to 95 percent of the class. There's three or four, five cars. I feel like that are at the top in the, the same ET as me, but they don't show up at every race I show up at. So if I'm three tenths to half a second faster than all the other cars, what does that really prove for me? That I mean, yeah, it's cool to win and you win some money, but sometimes you know you get races that don't have money on top of a pot, so you get 20 cars, 100 dollars a pop. That's two grand that you're racing for, and you got to go through what five rounds, four or five yeah. rounds of racing, and absolutely beat your car on the front side. 
I mean, two thousand dollars is a lot of money, but you know what it costs to get there sometimes, and if something breaks, it's minuscule. So it's like, is it really worth beating on the car when you know you're half a second faster or three tenths faster than the guy beside you, even though anything could happen? Right. Anything just happen. T- just say on paper, you know. But morally, it just doesn't feel right because. And this is going to sound like you're trying to give everybody a participation trophy, but it's not fair to them because I was in their shoes too. That they were right. a class killer and couldn't run with them, so that it demotivates you, and you know you don't you stop showing up because you think you can't compete. So, like I said, you're at a crossroads now. So then, if I run small tire, I'm not the slowest in small tire. I'm not the fastest. Kind of in the middle. Kind of been beside of some of the top small tire cars and. Within a car length or so, two cars of them, you just try to find what you can do next to make up that distance. Other than learning the setup and testing, but this thing's still 3,500 pounds. It needs to be, with me in it, it needs to be 3,200 probably. So you're leading towards going small tire trim? Probably, yeah. But we're going to keep the factory doors. Well, they give it away. But doing probably do fiberglass doors, like saying all that, and then you know put the factory doors on the same style hinges to where if there is a true street race that is paying out big, just swap, you just swap it right back. Ten minutes swap doors, hook up some wire, and, and go with it. And fit the rules. So basically, you're you're going to continue to build the car pretty much to pursue small tire but if there's a big if true street catches on like everybody's thinking it will with the way small tires going it can still cross over pretty quickly because it'll still the dash really don't weigh enough to matter the console was a little heavy but the biggest thing is i'm going to probably get a full containment seat eventually so it was the most of the rules say you have two covered front seats so you just find a way to to bolt up factory seat or something or another cheap kirky in the other side i got extra seats here or something probably we'll figure out something milk crate five yeah. gallon bucket as long as it's covered <laughs> now look we got this right here so y'all leave us some comments and let us know what you think you know as far as what he's planning on doing right here Small tire trim, street trim, or we crossover. Just get rid of it completely. No. Start all over. No. With a different chassis. You really want to do that? Are you going to do the same chassis as. Yeah, it'd be a cookie cutter, probably. Same thing as everybody else has. And you know what everybody's going to say now? It's another Fox body. I just imagine my setup in a Fox body, a thousand pounds lighter. God, it would fly, I think. As long as it stay hooked up. <laughs> But people that have watched you from the beginning with this car till now know the progress that you've made. Basically started as a stock stick shift, bolt on, gear swapping, VMP blower, to the turbo stick shift, to automatic with the turbo, and now twins. There's always a stopping point at some point on everything. If not, then it's going to end up with a one-piece front end and everything. <laughs> That's out of the budget, unless we find a sponsor. Well, you can, uh, as Willie Nelson would say, you could, you know, try. No, I ain't even going to say that. Some Something about some fans or feed or something like that, but <laughs> we'll let him have that ordeal. Yeah. Got to poke at him a little bit on that one. Yeah, it, it's doing good. I mean, I feel like Saturday that we based. On, I mean, there was a couple faster cars. I feel like there Saturday, obviously. But I feel like I had a chance to possibly go to the finals. Um, never know because of rain. But if I feel like after the first pass, and I turned it down to sixty foot a little bit, so I could have gotten after it harder. I feel like to the 330 and kind of hopefully rode that that was my plan yeah so because it was it was like almost half a tenth slower to the 330 than the test passes so yeah there was uh there was two other cars there that 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 we have raced with several times and we know what kind of what they can do 
I don't, don't want to give no way, no ETs or nothing for them, but just, you know, when we watch them so much, you might figure out what they're running. Those two would have been, if... All the cars in the class were fast. Yeah, they were all were, but if you went by on paper... There only one person can win. Yeah. At the end of the race. I mean, that's the thing. There's a winner and a loser in racing, so... On paper, those two would have been the two probably yeah. in the finals. Looking at looking at it that way, but like I said, anything can happen. Want to spin a tire, have to lift. And the track was just weird. It, yeah, it was really weird. I feel like that was the change that I made to, in second round. It would have probably picked that half a tenth back up to sixty foot. And I don't know what the other cars were sixty foot, and but going back and watching some other people's coverage videos, I feel like. I had kind of one of the fastest 60 foots other than maybe one car in the class so you never know because nobody really discusses times which is fine but you got you can gauge your car and kind of see sometimes they they look slower than they are but that's just the gamble you take when you pull up there well, as far as that goes what's next on the racing list yeah well I ordered a boat <laughs> and we're waiting on it to come in you ordered yeah so probably nothing this weekend if not if it doesn't rain and try Mooresville Friday the next weekend I know a lot of people are going to Shadyside for the big race but probably go to Elk Creek I just don't really feel like going and if I'm going to go to a racetrack I don't want to race I don't want to sit and watch <laughs> especially if it's going to be hot yeah, yeah. no shade at Shadyside um, there you go kind of they, they really missed the name on that one. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of shade down there, here and there, but it's scarce. So I got to Elk Creek and do the killer street. See if we can sneak a win, possibly. Yeah. It'll be good to go up there. We ain't, got to, we ain't really got to go up there yet this year. So. Yeah, of course. I'm a little sketched out about it. It's got a short shutdown. Yeah. I have about 30 or 40 more mile an hour than the last time I raced there. Yeah. I'll be on the parachute quick. Well, like I said, y'all, leave us some comments. <clears throat> Let us know what you think about the small tire street crossover trim. Want to go faster and got anything else you want for it? No, nope. just excited to see how it looks with different doors. It's going to be supposed in. to be some substantial weight out of them. It's, I mean, it's still going to look the same. Yeah, it'll it's be, they'll all be painted. I mean, I'll have leg sand and stuff. But. But just to see the car, you know, I can see it in the background right now. It's, it's still going to look the same. So yeah. So if any sponsors that want to buy some doors or some legs in, <laughs> I got a whole list of stuff I got to buy. So I hear if you. You're willing to pitch in? We'll take it. I, well, I, I'll put I, all kinds of stickers on the car and everything, <laughs> everywhere, anywhere you want to put it. I know. I know you kind of keep mentioning the sponsors and and, and yeah, it, most of us joking, but yeah, to an extent, it's, you know, you kind of are serious about it in a way. But, and I do know, you know, as far as that car goes, you've put a lot of time, a lot of wrenching, a lot of your own money in that car. Never really had a sponsor. <laughs> so, if somebody wants to say that you didn't do it, I mean, you know, there's it's, it's, it's a lot put in right there. So, I mean, I'll, I'll sponsor you a dyno to make some dyno pulls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know the same person. Well, I might sponsor you building to make them dino pools in. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I guess we're good. Yep. All right, we'll catch you on the next one.